All right, this is a review of an Anza AZHS004-CP shower head. It's basically a 4.7 inch high pressure uh, shower head with hose. It's made of chrome. Got the hose right here. Comes in a Ziploc bag. This is the head itself. It's got about it's got several different adjustment settings for the water. And this is the adapter to fit on your shower pipe that comes out of your wall. And this is actually made of plastic. For those curious, it's not actually a chrome piece, so when you put it together, you want to make sure you don't over tighten it because it could crack. And it also comes with Teflon tape. For, so there's no leaks on the threaded pipe. So what I'm going to do is install this in my shower. I'll go ahead and put the pieces back in the plastic for now. And we'll go ahead and replace my shower head in my bathroom. And we'll test it out. Alright, so that's the shower head in my stand-up shower. I've got some channel locks here, and I'll go ahead and take this head off here that I've got. on it to get that to move. Alright. Get some of that old Teflon tape off so it doesn't cause any any leaks. Alright. Now we get the new shower head here. Alright, so we'll start with this piece. Yep, that'll clear my space. I got another shower that I was going to put this on and I got a shelf that doesn't have this cut in it, and it won't. It, this where the hose is goes right into the wood, just like, just like that. So there's no way I could connect it up. So definitely want to make sure that your pipe from the wall is coming out long enough to bypass any shelving you might have um, in your bathroom. So all right. So, yep, so we're going to be tightening up this way, so I'm going to do it clockwise, putting this Teflon tape on. Or the... Probably good. About five loops around. Now again, this is plastic. It's not actual chrome. So you don't want to over tighten this where it could uh, crack the housing. it's going to get. There we go. Yep, not, on, not even using any channel locks to tighten it up. It's pretty much 
hand tight. So I'll go ahead and tilt it up a little bit. And put the hose on next. Doesn't seem to matter which end you put in there. Looks they look about the same size. So <clears throat> just take out the little plastic. Uh, grommets, if that's what you want to call them, and they already have uh, O-rings inside, so that'll be good. I'll probably put a little bit of Teflon on that connection there before I connect this. Chances are the grommets are going to be good enough, but just to be on the safe side, you don't want to risk any any leak. Yeah, that's probably good. Alright, this hose is about three feet, maybe four feet. Yeah, it's probably four feet in length, so there's plenty of length of hose. And these are actually metal. Probably, again, hand tight. Teflon tape is probably good. So now that you got that connected, I'll get the shower head. Get some of this trash out of here. All right. Yeah, I might go ahead and add a little bit of Teflon tape to that. And just don't want any extra water spraying out where it's not supposed to be. Yep. Making sure I get it threaded right. Alright. Yeah, we're all set. Well, see, I got my faucet. It's a little low here. I mean, not a big deal, but you know, this has got a little bit of slack to it, so. You know, you can always put a little hook up or something if you're not going to use it for, um, you know, for, well, I guess, you know, get it out of your way if you're turning the water on or off. But, uh, yeah, at least for how I've got it set up, that would actually suffice for me just to do that. So, what I'll do now is test the water, and we will see... what different settings it's got. All right, so we've got no leaks, none around the top, or the water uh, uh, connections on the hose, which is good. All right, so there's a regular shower. It looks like a massage. That looks more like a 
just a trickle like a rain. Probably another rain shower setting. That's more like a stream. That's an extra stream. That's definitely got some push to it. And that's probably the jet stream there. Definitely a massaging setting for sure. If you've got sore muscles or neck muscles or whatever, this would definitely be a great setting for for a massager. Yeah, that's it. So there's about seven settings. Very nice. Yeah, that is a very impressive um, shower head. Seven different uh, adjustments for from a gentle shower to a massage setting, or various massage settings, I guess you could say. So, yeah, real easy to hook up. All I needed was a pair of channel locks. That was it. And I really didn't need the channel locks to tighten it up, just basically to get the old shower head off. That's all I needed it for. So, yeah, basically, if you can get that off, you really need no tools at all other than putting the Teflon tape and hand tightening uh, all the connections and not over tighten them where it could crack uh, the uh, connections and all. So, there you go. There's my review of a, a shower head that is made by. ANZA, A-N-Z-A. So again, the model number AZHS004-CP for those curious and are interested in getting one for yourself. So hope you enjoyed it. Hope that helps you. Till next time. Adios.